cooking with plants and today I'm making super quick and easy two ingredient pancakes. Let's get started. So following the popularity of my two ingredient waffles which included banana and oats, I did have a lot of feedback from people that are allergic to oats or can't eat them for whatever reason. So today these pancakes are going to be gluten free but if you do want to use the oat mixture just go back to the waffles recipe and use that for pancakes it'll work perfectly well too so let's begin today's recipe you want a nice ripe banana this is a reasonably large size and it has nice body skin which means it's ripe and nice and sweet ready to eat Put that in and I'm also using some chickpea flour or besan flour as it's also known. This is an organic brand that I get here in Australia. But any type of besan flour that you have available will be perfect. So you will be using two thirds of a cup of the chickpea flour. So to this mixture I'm also going to add half a cup of water. I'm not including this as an ingredient because it's readily available in everyone's household so that is going in also. Now before I start blending this mixture I'm also going to get a non-stick pan onto a medium heat, just a low to medium heat because it will protect your non-stick pan as well rather than putting it on a very high heat. So I'll get that going and then we're ready to blend. Okay, so this has been blending for just under a minute and it's a nice pancake batter consistency and nice and aerated from being in the blender as well so it's now ready to cook. So this mixture is about enough for four pancakes so I'll be pouring about a quarter of this into the pan. Because I have a good quality non-stick pan, I'm not using any oil today, but if you do have a pan that sticks a little bit, you might want to just baste it with a tiny bit of oil, maybe some coconut oil, just so it doesn't stick to your pan. Once you see bubbles on top of your pancake, it's ready to flip over. And just keep going until you've used up all of your batter. Now with your chickpea flour batter it does have a tendency to thicken up as it's sitting so by about the third or the last pancake it will be quite thick. You may need to add just a little bit of water into it, maybe add one teaspoon at a time, mix it through just to get that um, pouring batter texture again. Now that I've cooked all my pancakes, I've just covered them with a tea towel and in the meantime I'm just going to caramelise some bananas to go with it. So I've just chopped up a banana and I'm just adding a little bit of coconut sugar over the top. And I'll add a little bit of water to this pan as well. my pancakes with some caramelized banana and some thawed out frozen strawberries and I've got the strawberry juice on there as well and just a light sprinkle of coconut sugar on top and I'm going to give this a bit of a taste oh, good. Mm. Mm. What an awesome start to the day and only two ingredients in these pancakes it's so hard to believe they're light and fluffy so easy to make and just layer them with anything top them with maple syrup and blueberries whatever you have on hand mm, I'm gonna keep eating right now I'll see you for the next recipe 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.